All right, now let's look at example four over here. It's about um, gambling problem. Let's first look at part A. So he's going to play this game just once. And his bet size is X. And we want to find out the expected value of the utility of his total amount after playing this game just once. Now, the reason we have uncertainty and we are finding the expected value is that when he plays this game, he may not win, he may lose. So we are going to figure out the probabilities of different possible utilities. And then we um, take the average probability weighted average, and that's going to be expected value. For a problem like this, it's easier if we draw a diagram. So we're going to bet over here x. Okay. And then we're going to try to see what's happened to the amount of fortune he has. If he bet x, then there is a possibility he can win. And we know the win probability is simply going to be p. We put it over here. And he can lose. Because the win probability is p, so the probability to lose is 1 minus p. Now we're going to try to see the change to his fortune. If he wins, then this is his initial amount. Because he wins, so he gets this x as his win. So this will be his new amount of fortune after one game. If he loses, then we have a minus x. And that's why we always say that x is between 0 and a. He can only bet part of his fortune that's available to him. Now, after we get these numbers, the fortune, we need to find out the utility, the utility part. And since here the utility function is abstract, so we can say u of a plus x. That would be the utility of the amount if he wins. And then you look at the utility if he loses, that's the one. But these two quantities, these two utilities, are not certain. He has the probability p to get u of a plus x. And he has the probability 1 minus p to get u of a minus x. So the expected utility, expected utility, that means expected value of the utility, is simply utility multiplied by its probability. Okay. And usually it's easier if we put the p in the front, because that way we don't get confused for the second term. We know 1 minus p is just coefficient. So that's what we have. Now, let's look at part B. So this bet X can be anywhere between 0 and capital A. So we now want to maximize the utility by choosing the best size, X star. So what it means is that we are going to find X star so that this utility is maximized. Okay. So this is the problem we need to solve. And x is between 0 and a. Okay. If you think about it, this is exactly what we are calling v1 of a. You have one game to play, and you start with amount capital A and you're choosing x star so that you maximize the utility after playing this one game. Now, to solve this problem, for an example, we need to use
we need to use um, a, a function over here we have. And the function we want to use over here, u is equal to um, log x. u of x is equal to log x. So what we have is that we have this maximization problem. x is between 0 a, and we have p and the log a plus x and plus 1 minus p and log a minus x. We want to solve this problem for all p. p is between 0 and 1. This process is pretty long and it's solved in another video. So we're going to skip the process over here. We say see another video. And we just write down the answer over here eventually. Solving this problem depends on p. If p is bigger than or equal to 1 half, we're going to have x star is equal to 2p minus 1. If p is less than 1 half, then x star is simply going to be 0. If you think about this solution, it makes perfect sense. If the win probability is greater than one half, you're going to bet a positive amount. If the win probability is less than one half, you're not going to bet anything. That's to your um, benefit.